COVID-19 had an immediate impact on agriculture and the supply chain, and economists say that impact could last several more years. A recent study conducted by Michigan State University on the future of Michigan agriculture suggests social distancing and mask recommendations have changed several consumer dining habits. Consumers are probably going to eat out less than what they did before. And remember, just very recently, we just got to the point that consumers were spending as much on food away from home as they were on food at home. So that was quite a milestone, but that has been reversed, and I think that that's going to, that uh, is going to stay that way for for a while in the future. I think consumers are going to be much more um, uh, adamant about eating fresh, and what they do not eat fresh, they're going to be much more adamant about the ingredients, looking for small labels. That is, the products with the fewest uh, different um, ingredients and ingredients that they can understand. As the weather continues to cool and uncertainty over COVID-19 heats up, there's been speculation about another rush to empty grocery store shelves. If you'll recall in the spring, meat was hard to come by for a stretch, as were fresh fruits and vegetables and paper products like paper towels and toilet paper. But Assistant Professor of Agriculture and Food Policy at Michigan State University, Alex Schaefer, believes agriculture, retailers and consumers are all prepared if there's a need to hunker down this winter because of COVID. We were very much caught off guard. We saw empty grocery uh, grocery store shelves, um, massive panic. This time, it's exactly the opposite story, right? That we we always knew uh, that there was going to be this resurgence in the fall. Um, that makes uh, both supermarkets. Uh, more able to prepare in the future, processors more able to prepare in the future in terms of getting the supplies on um, on hand uh, in an effort to be able to pump this stuff out more quickly. Uh, but we also see it from the consumer's perspective, right? So the story there was, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? We didn't know we were going to be locked up at home. Now we do know what we're going to be locked up at home. So I don't anticipate this mass hysteria um, on the side of the consumers. We have a very robust of uh, agri-food system in the U.S. And one that is just is going to be hard to actually disrupt uh, in, in, in completion. Value chain that used to be de- dedicated to food away from home has shifted to fill in the gap at food, food at home uh, packaging. Remember, it's not as easy as just putting a label on it. It's packaging, it's machine that makes that packaging and, and everything in between understanding the value chains and whatnot. So it's not easy to shift from one uh, food away from home to food at home sales. Uh, But that process is making um, our producers probably much more flexible, that now they can service both lines. And they're more adept at making changes and not as uh, ingrained in one direction versus the other direction.